And I'll wash this. Until recently, the simplest of tasks was a challenge. Two years ago, Farrell Ekman had COVID-19. She was in hospital three months, mostly in ICU, intubated or on a ventilator. The wife, mother of two, recovered but needed oxygen to get up and move around. All the doctors, um, when they had been looking at my scans and seeing what it looked like on the surface of my lungs, they described it as a broken glass kind of appearance. Ekman was diagnosed with pulmonary fibrosis. Hello, hello. Hi. How's it going? Good, thank you. Pulmonary fibrosis is scarring, which causes lung tissue to get thick and stiff. Here there are extra bits of white uh, and dense, dense white bits, and this is the scarring that happens after, after COVID. That scarring makes it hard to absorb oxygen into the bloodstream. We're trying to learn more and more about risk factors that lead some people to end up with scarring after uh, an infection like COVID and other people to kind of get over it without too much of an issue. And I, I think we don't really know the answer to that. And the answer to that it usually lies somewhere in, in genetics. A number of international research teams have identified an escalating rate of pulmonary fibrosis. One study found almost 45 percent of severe COVID-19 survivors have developed it. That's a significantly higher rate than among the general public. Before the pandemic, there were an estimated 30,000 cases in Canada, but the COVID-related pulmonary fibrosis is just surfacing now, so there are no exact numbers to report. Specialists, however, believe worldwide studies accurately reflect cases here. I've seen a fair number. Uh, most of the time, uh, so I, I would say probably uh, several dozen. Definitely there's more fibrotic lung disease in the COVID pneumonia patients, but not everyone. And in some people, it can level. And in some people, I've had people on oxygen for two years who have now come off oxygen. So you can get improvement. Other than daily oxygen, there's no other treatment for post-COVID pulmonary fibrosis. Farrell Ekman needs it every day. I don't know if I'll ever fully recover. I'm functioning, which is tremendous, um, but you know, I could possibly be dealing with this for the rest of my life. Do you want to eat maybe around six? As vaccines help to make COVID less severe, it's hoped cases of fibrosis will also lessen. But for now, it's a major concern for survivors and those who treat them. Bell Puri, CBC News, Vancouver.